Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Rachel Rudolph. She's with the University of Kentucky Extension Vegetable Specialist there. Now, Rachel, today we're going to talk about root knot nematode and, you know, what is that exactly? Yeah, it's a plant parasitic roundworm um, that resides in the soil. It spends its whole life in the soil and it feeds off of plants. And so is it one of those like hidden dangers that we have? <laughs> Not to uh, scare people at all, but it is microscopic, right? So you can't see these round worms. They're not as big as like an earthworm or anything close to that, right? You can't see them with the naked eye. Um, they're underneath the soil. And the, the other tricky part about it is that the symptoms that the above ground symptoms that you would see from root knot nematode damage look a lot like other issues uh like drought stress or abiotic you know nutrient deficiencies or you know that kind of thing so to if you just looked at a plant above ground that was struggling you may not jump to the conclusion of oh this has got to be root knot nematode because it could look it looks like anything even even to me now after studying this for several years it's still hard to recognize the above ground symptoms. So I would pull pull up a plant, look at the roots um, and and look for little nodules or maybe big nodules if you've got a if you've got a pretty serious infestation. The roots are going to have lots of knots on them, which is why it's called root knot nematode. They're called galls. Um, it is a plant response to the feeding of this plant parasitic nematode. So that'll be, that'll be for sure your, you know, your clue, right? Your big, you know, alert there. But there are tests um, that people can have run to identify it down to species because there's multiple species of root knot nematode. And that is going to determine kind of how you approach management. So it would be recommended, even if you see the knots, to get it tested. Is there a plan to be able to kind of solve this problem? So preventative would be sanitation, right? So if you're sharing equipment across fields or with your neighbor, right? Rinse, rinse before and after, right? So transferring the, the root knot nematode moves through soil. Good rotation. So root the, the troubling thing is that root knot nematode has a pretty wide host range. But if you can rotate out of that host range, um, you could prevent, you know, a serious population issue. Yeah. yeah. As far as like, after the fact, there are several options. So um, there are nematicides, so chemical nematicides that can be used. Um, you could use resistant uh, cultivars, plant cultivars. We've had a really good success with the tomatoes, those resistant varieties being still very productive, even with root knot nematode present. Um, so you have less infection, less galling, and a more productive plant. Um, we've also looked at soil solarization. Unfortunately, there's no eradication. So once you have it, once it's an issue, you will have to always be on guard. And so it's a root, not nematode. So if the roots aren't present like this time of year, when we've removed all that plant material, can you still test for that? Will they, it still be present or does the, is the root have to be there? So we, we can sample soil. I recommend sampling between May and October because that's when the population is going to be, you know, the most detectable. Pulling plants out removing any potential hosts this time of year. So weeds can be hosts. And so making sure the soil is um, clear of those, those things, especially if you have a high tunnel or something where things can grow even in the cold weather. Um, that's a great, that's a great uh, preventative and management strategy. We've got a publication, it's called Root Knot Nematode in Vegetable Cropping Systems. And we'll, we'll make that available. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.